guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Jacqueline Hill palette from Morphe. I am so excited to review this because, like, because of coronavirus and all that, the order literally took like a month to arrive. So I have been waiting so long and it's finally here and I can finally do a video on it. So um, the box, I kind of threw it away um, without thinking I was gonna need it for the review. Um, but the box basically just looked exactly like the palette. Um, but at the back it had her herself and that had some writing. Um, not really that interesting. Anyway, this is the front of the palette. It says Jacqueline Hill in silver 3D writing. And that has a line that says palette. And then it says Morphe. Let me just get a thumbnail. Anyway, um, it says Morphe right there. And then um, here it says Jacqueline Hill palette. And then at the back it's just white with some terms and conditions. No, not terms and conditions. Um that thing um so let's just open the palette there is a piece of plastic holding it all together and then here it is okay but i am like in love with these colors oh my gosh they are just so pretty especially the glitter ones like look how amazing these are right so let's go over each color one by one um it says here, this palette is dedicated to all my loving subscribers, XO Jacqueline Hill. So let's go over each and every one of the colours. So the first colour is M Light. It's a really nice um, glitter shadow thing. Um, it's really nice. I really like it. The M Beam, quite similar to, the, to it, but not identical. Um, it's also a really nice um, glitter one. It looks kind of less shimmery than in light, but they look the same almost, but they're just not. The next one is Silk Cream. This is quite a neutral matte colour, um, quite good for a base of an eyeshadow. Then we have MFEO, which I can't remember what that stands for. So MFEO stands for Made For Each Other. Um, and also it looks like a really nice matte base eyeshadow it looks really creamy as well like they both they both look like really like they all look really creamy and really like good quality the next one is faint i love this one so much it is like a just the cutest little not little um the cutest eyeshadow pink eyeshadow thing ever it is just like so cute and so shimmery i love it then the next one is sissy i absolutely love this one i'm pretty sure i'm just gonna say i absolutely love every single um color but it's true i just love this palette so much um i just love the shade and the color it's just amazing same with little lady it is just like amazing then we've got creamsicle it's this really nice creamy looking um yellow shade another matte one then we've got butter it looks really buttery as well um it's again a really nice base one then we've got putter um it's a really nice shade um i can definitely see myself using it as a base with um hunts which i'll go on to after this one so then there's pukey i'm not really that big of a fan of pukey i don't really like how it looks it looks a bit pukey um but i haven't tested it yet so shouldn't judge a book by its cover they've got hunts i absolutely love this one it is just the most vibrant orange like orangey red i just love it and i can definitely see myself using it as like a crease color and anyway, then we've got firework i love this one so much i just love the color of it it's like absolutely beautiful i just love it so much then we've got queen fit for a queen it is the best golden eyeshadow i have like ever seen it is just like amazing i love it and next we've got obsessed it's like it, like i'm obsessed with this color like it's just amazing um then we've got sbn 
Let's see what this stands for. Um, so Siri says that SBN stands for Sites Builder Network, which I think is a lie. Um, anyway, then we've got Hillster. I love this one a lot. It is like a really nice colour and I can definitely see myself using it. Then we've got Roxanne, Roxanne. Again, quite similar to Hunt's. I love it so much and I can definitely see myself using it as a crease colour. Then we've got Jack's. It is this really nice dark red colour. Um, then we've got Buns. It's like, it's like a really nice neutral base colour and I can definitely see myself using it with Hunt's. Then we've got Cran Apple and I just love this one. Like, I love all the shimmer shades in this palette. Like, they're just amazing. Um, then we've got Royalty, definitely fit for Royalty. Um, I don't usually wear dark bright shadows, but who knows, I should test this one out and see how it looks. Then we've got Twerk, I really love the colour, it's like really nice. Um, and it's a shimmer one as well. Then we've got Hustle, it's this really nice grey, beigey, grey shimmer. Um, shade. Then we've got Meeks, another shimmer shade. Then we've got 24-7. This one's really nice. I can definitely see it going with Queen and maybe Silk, Cream and in Light. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing loads of like eyeshadow looks with this palette in particular. Um, so be sure to look out for those on my channel soon. Um, then we've got Chip. It's just kind of a plain matte base coat type thing. Then we've got Mocha, um, I really love this colour actually, it's like, it, it definitely looks like Mocha, I can see why she named it that. Then we've got Pool Party, I love this shimmer one, as I said all the shimmer um, colours in this palette are like stunning. Then we've got Jada, um, I, I, I couldn't see myself wearing Jada unfortunately, but I'll definitely try doing a look with it. Then we've got Diva, again I love it so much, it's just like, it's such a nice emerald type colour, I just love it so much. Then we've got Enchanted, it's this dark green one, it could probably go really well with Diva. Then we've got Central Park, this brown shadow. Then we've got Soda Pop, this dark purple shadow which could go really nicely with the royalty one. Then finally we've got... Abies, I think, which is just a black. It's a palette, like that's an overview of all the colours of the palette. Um, so now we are going to test it out. So I'm gonna use the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush, and my mirror is right behind the camera. Um and I've got a lazy eye so I can't really do eyeshadow on the side this, that well because when it's closed, like, yeah, you get it. Um, so I'm gonna do it on this eye and then attempt to do eyeshadow on this eye. We'll see how it goes. So let's start off with neutral. So we've got some there. Uh, I'm kind of far away from it. I'm gonna try. Bear with me guys, bear with me. Um, so this is, I'm not good at eyeshadow at all. So if any of you here are watching that are like good at eyeshadow, do not judge me because I cannot do eyeshadow at all. But hopefully during quarantine I can get better. So that's like kind of the base. Then we're gonna get Hunts and put it in the crease. In a way, kind of. I'm messing this up really badly. But I absolutely love like the texture of the shadows. Like they go on really nicely, if that makes any sense. So that's pretty uneven, but it's my first time properly doing eyeshadow, so like, give me a break. Um, then let's get buns. We can put that here. Okay, 
this is starting to look okay. Um, then let's get, let's get a fun color. Let's get firework. I am absolutely loving this look. See if I got a bit better with my eyeshadow skills, I feel like this would be a really nice eyeshadow look. So yeah, that's the first look. I used um, Putter, Hunts, Buns and Firework. And honestly, if I was better at eyeshadow, this would look amazing. And yeah, so let's try, let's attempt to do a look on this eye, but it's not gonna be that good. Um, let's try and use some of the more vibrant colors. Let's start off with, uh, let's start off with a base of butter, not actual butter, just a shade. Let's see, let's get Jada. I feel like this is gonna ruin the whole thing though, it's okay. Kind of just blending it without even seeing it. Let's just hope for the best. I mean, it's turning out okay considering the fact that I cannot see it at all. Let's use the color Diva. Oh wow, that's wow. Didn't realize how much I put on the brush. Oh wow. eyeshadow and if I could see this would actually look okay but it looks a bit of a mess right now but you know what it's fine it's progress um anyway guys I think I need to end the video there um but I rate the palette a 10 out of 10 and I definitely recommend it especially if you're just starting out with makeup um like I'm gonna try start out by using eyeshadow and see if I can get better um but I definitely recommend this as a starter palette um it's just amazing i love it so much i'm gonna leave a link to it in the description down below um so yeah uh so thank you guys for watching this video um hopefully you found it useful and it uh, helped you made your mind about getting this palette um make sure to like this video comment down below any like other makeup products you'd like me to review um or just any video ideas in general uh, so yeah, be sure to subscribe to my channel and look out for the videos of me doing, um, eyeshadow looks with this palette. Uh, so yeah, bye!